My name is Vahid Chitsos, part of Elite Mastermind Group. Thank you for taking this time out of your busy day and being with us. Go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Let us know where you're coming in from. Okay. So my name is Sydney, and I am in a suburb of Chicago. Um, and so I am here today to talk about Think and Grow Rich. Awesome. You got my favorite cover. That's awesome. Yes. So let's dive into it. When did you start? How did you start? Okay, so um, 2016, so about three and a half years ago, I went on a journey of self-development and just personal development where I just submerged myself in all of these uh, professional books and resources, and I came across Think and Grow Rich, which is like one of the top success books, and immediately fell in love with it, and I want to share how it changed my life and um, how I tripled my salary about maybe six months after finishing this book and applying the principles. Awesome. So, Go ahead. Tell us which principle was the most important one for you and how did you apply it? Okay. So the ones that are most important, um, some of my best takeaways was writing down my definite aim. So writing down exactly what type of job I wanted, how much money I wanted to make, how I was going to deliver those services, writing that down in detail, um, studying that, speaking it, affirming it, using the power of my subconscious mind is what really um, is what really helped turn all of the gears. Um, three and a half years ago, I was getting ready to move to Chicago and um, I was able to actually land my dream job as an information technology um, lead analyst here. And so I was able to, using my definite aim, um, power of suggest, auto suggestion, and um, just having a strong desire and persistence in my goal and knowing that I was worthy enough to make the amount of money and cross the six figure mark, that really skyrocketed me into the success that I see today. That so is I awesome. I, I recommend I this book to everyone. I agree with that 100%. I, I actually have it in my bag, how I wrote it down. The, the craziest part is when you write your goals down and you are very, very specific, when they do come true, is as if for me, at least it was that a miracle happened. I thought about it, I wrote it down, and I was touching it. It was crazy. I was like, wow. So yes. now you start being more careful yes. with what you write down and what you yes. think about. So it gives you that cautious side, but now you know that you're very, very powerful. So here's my question. What made you write that? Because there are millions of people that read the book, but they don't go to work and they don't write it down. So what was the, why did you write it down? I've always been a big advocate for journaling and writing down your goals and I know the power of that and how you can really materialize what you visualize and what you write down um, and so in following this book I know I wanted to get as much out of it um, I wanted to think and grow rich I wanted to get everything that I could out of this book so I wanted to follow all of the principles so when it says and I think it's in the ch second chapter um, about writing down I mean in the book explicitly this is one of I mean, a few books, you know, will tell you exactly what to do. But what I love about this book is it tells you, like, write this down. Come back to this chapter. Study this. And so I did that. That, that is so powerful. Here's my question. If somebody's reading the book, how should they study it? What was your method? What worked for you? You know what? I have a couple different methods. So I read the book. I read the, um, the hard copy. And I listened to it on Audible. So I read it first, read it through, wrote down, did the exercises. Then I purchased um, an audio book. And then every day on my commute or when I had some downtime, I would just listen to it. And that made it seep into my subconscious even more. So I recommend that. That way you get double the power of, of the book. And this is, uh, this is information that kind of seeps into your mind. So that's, that's what I recommend. And also just reading the hard copy, taking notes, each chapter, take a, take a note. Um, so, yeah. That is awesome. So here's my question for you. How long did it take you from the day you started till the day that you actually wrote down? I mean, you, you don't have to be exact. Just give me an approximation. Because I see a lot of people, they read the book to just read it. 
And and I do agree with you that you need to get a couple of methods, couple of ways of being able to 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 get it really sink in and and be part of you internally. But I see a lot of people, they just glance at it and they just read it to read it. But it's one of those books that needs to be studied. Yeah. So how long time did it take you to really study it? Okay, so, um, and, and it's funny because I actually have wrote down, when I landed my dream job, I wrote down the amount of time it took after I finished the book to, to get to that job, and it was like six months. But after I started reading it and I got to the second chapter, that, and I just followed the exercises and continue, you know, to study them. So kind of as I was reading, I was writing notes, and I think that whenever you are reading any of, you know, personal development books or books that, you know, can help your mindset and your success, you can't just read it and just let the information flow. You have to study it. You have to take notes. You have to try to apply the principles in order to see the results. Yeah, you have to be very intentional with it. You yes. can't just leave it to chances. It doesn't work like that. So here is my question. I know a lot of the newer generation, I'm old school, so I always like to have the hard copy. Yeah. I, I just... I, you know, I listen to Audible, YouTube, and everything else. When it's an Audible, when it's just an audio book, I like that. But it's not as powerful as me having the book yeah. and the audio. It just, yeah. I don't know, it just makes sense to me. I don't know yes, why. Yes, I agree. But this is this is this is very very powerful that you gotta have. So here is my suggestion for you: if you love that reading, uh, this is a good friend of mine, Jeffrey Gettemore. He's actually the person who's been writing the Napoleon Hill Foundation newsletter. Thinking Go Rich um, for almost 15, 20 years. He just came out with his new book. So if you love Thinking Go Rich, you're going to definitely like this. So okay. if you want to Google it, I don't know if it's on Amazon. I think it's on Amazon already. That's where I got mine. I don't know if it has an Audible yet, but definitely check this out. So if you had to recommend this book, if somebody has not, if they're watching this and have not read the book Thinking Go Rich, why, in your opinion, they should go pick up the book, buy the book, and read the book? I recommend this book to everyone. Anyone who is looking to increase their finances, expand their money mindset, um, start their business, uh, elevate in their career, anything that you are looking for um, to make as much money as you want, read this book because not only is it one of the top success books, as it any anywhere you research, Anything, any blog, personal development, it's going to say read, think, and grow rich. And the reason why is that the principles in here, I mean, I think he wrote this, I don't know, so many years ago. 1930. So 1930. And the principles still stand today. It's not a hard book to read. Um, some some books I've read that, I, that I've been um, written around the same time are a little bit harder to read. But this one is easy because... Uh, you can get the 21st century version and um, you know, it's an easy read. It's something that you can read a chapter a day, follow the principles and just kind of document your journey and see what changes. If once you really start applying the principles and doing the exercises, kind of pay attention to, you know, what you see going on and then you'll, you'll notice how your life is starting to change. So I, I, I recommend it to everyone. And and it's not just for entrepreneurs who are getting no. in business, just like you mm-hmm. said. Anybody who wants to improve their finances, they could definitely do a lot of takeout out of the book. It's not just for stuff. Now, I know if you're in business, these success principles might help you a lot more because now you're dealing with other people. But it could be for increasing your 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 your, your salary, your income, yes. and get your the, the job that you love to do. So why IT? I've always been in IT. Um, Since I was a kid, I was like tinkering with computers and things like that. So I I always knew that I would want um, a career in IT and I have uh, my bachelor's and my master's in IT. So it's just always been my path. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. A lot of my IT guys that I know, you can't have conversations about thinking good. So you're definitely special because a lot of them are very logical thinking. When yep. I talk about faith, when I talk about visualization, they're not into it. They're like, hey, that's for you. You're in business. I'm like, no, it's for it's you for too. But they're not, they're not, uh, they're more like analytic. They're yeah. just way more. They just understand two plus two equals four. I think that's where the, the disconnect is. A lot mm-hmm. of them. And, and, and to me, they're, really smart i envy their iq and i'm like oh my god if i had your iq imagine what i could do but i guess sometimes 
we go on a different path. A lot of them are working for big companies. Some of them are working for Fortune 500 companies. But when I, whenever I talk about thinking go rich, it's not that welcome as much as when I'm talking to business people about thinking go rich. Well, and what I'll say about that, because I also work for a Fortune 500 company, um, and, I, and I do see that a lot. And I think another principle in reading this book is just to be very open-minded. Um, it's going to ask for a lot of visualization and imagination. And some people I talk to, they just don't understand that. Like, oh, I can get money just by thinking of it. Or vi but it, it's something that you have to open your mind and believe that it's possible in order for you to even see some results. And you just have to be willing to try it. I appreciate it. Listen, thank you so much for taking this busy time out of your schedule and being with us. Hopefully, by the way, I love your Instagram account. It's thank popping you. like there's no tomorrow. Whoever is doing those photos, they need to be working for me. I need to hire that person. Oh. <laughs> your, your images, they're all on top of the, I mean, you must have a special phone or they must have a good camera. I'm thank trying to you. make my photos come as close as to yours, but damn, you got it on control. Thank love you. it, love it. Thanks so much. Thank you so much for being here. Hopefully we could do more. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Thanks so much.